his claim that he's speaking for the troops. I have, Chris. Well, make your case, General. This, this bill, and when you attach a timeline to it, the audience is not the, uh, the American people. The audience is not the, uh, our, uh, our enemy. Uh, the audience is really the al-Maliki government. And it, throughout my career and throughout most soldiers' career, there is a uh, timeline discipline. You, you attach a timeline to discipline the process. And right now, we've got an open-ended situation. The Iraqis are playing us along, the Iraqi government. And they are not pursuing the benchmarks that they agreed to and the timelines that they agreed to. We're talking about the reinstatement okay. of the boss. General, hold, hold on, General. We have the President of the United States coming right now to the lectern. Here he is, the President of the United States. Yes, Roger, Simon, and Steve McMahon. But first of all, General Eden, once again, the President said it's a battle between the Democrats on Capitol Hill, the congressional leadership that wants to substitute, as he put it, the opinions of politicians for the judgments of our military leaders. What's he saying there that makes sense to you, or how do you disagree with him? Uh, Chris, I come at it from a uh, perspective. This bill puts discipline in a process that has demanded discipline for the last three and a half years. The, the real intent is to get after the al-Maliki government and to get them to start the uh, settling of the benchmarks that they agreed to. The uh, reinstatement of uh, Ba'ath leadership as, uh, as uh, we vet them and bring them in. The distribution of mineral resources to do those things that they have agreed to to begin a legitimate government, to reestablish a legitimate government in Iraq that the Iraqi security forces can look to for legitimacy. Right now that is absent and what we're seeing right now, the, the withdrawal, the, he has stood down some very successful Sunni generals and a couple of Shia generals who are having market success working in the, uh, the arena of, of, uh, with, of drawing down the sectarian violence. And you're going to have a continued defection of Sunni leaders from his, uh, from his uh, parliament with, without a, uh, a sense of inclusion and in bringing the Sunnis in there in a yeah. viable context. Especially if they keep arresting the expert general. The troops in the field, men and women, are they rooting for the president in this battle when they read the paper, when they read Stars and Stripes, or they check with Armed Services Radio? Are they checking in on this dispute back here, or are they just fighting the war? Chris, they're just fighting the war. They, the, the effort uh, at squad level is very focused on uh, getting the mission done. But I will tell you that uh, Secretary of Defense Gates has extended tour links from 12 to 15 months. We have not yet increased uh, the recruiting goals for uh, United States Army Recruiting Command to grow the force to meet the foreign policy demands of this country. We have a timeline on the table. It's January 2009. It is coming. And uh, what the American people did last November was vote to accelerate that timeline. That's what we need to do in order to discipline this war and put spine in the foreign policy in the State Department to get after a diplomatic solution to get this uh, al-Maliki government to produce. Do the, um, does the Maliki government in Iraq that we put up there and are helping to stay up, do they have a calendar? Do they know that this president leaves office in January 2009 and he's their last committed friend? The country of Iraq is a country that's had a thousand years of uh, paternal Muslim domination and 30 years of Saddam uh, brutality. They don't think like we do. And uh, they have got to be absolutely disciplined. This bill helps do that. They have got to put markers on the ground to meet in order to, uh, to survive as a nation in its concept. But what makes you think that they want to do what we want them to do, that Maliki wants to put together a government which shares the oil revenues among the three groups, that gives the Sunnis who were running the show for all those 30 years a piece of the power, that tells the Shia they can't have a mullah-led government, that it's going to be something of a secular state in the middle of Arabia? All those conditions are American goals. Who says they're Iraqi goals? Chris, you have defined the problem, the whole issue is the performance of the al-Maliki government that is not deemed legitimate by the Kurds in the north or the Sunnis in the center. And until you get a legitimate government operating, and that legitimate government could be something on the line of Peter Galbraith's book, The End of Iraq, or it could be uh, Senator Biden's plan of, of a tripartition. Uh, this victory as defined by President Bush is not out 
it is not possible with this current government. Okay, let me thank